Hi, it's Megan and this evening I have been out in my garden pulling weeds and just thinking. So lately I feel like God has laid it on my heart to share something, um, a devotional, I don't know, just to share something. I've been praying about what it is. Um, and the other day I had a friend come over and um, the minute we pulled in my driveway she started crying and she was like oh my gosh your garden you know it's just beautiful and you know I see the potential of what it will be and what it will become and she, she just said it's just totally beautiful um, and she just shared some things that God's been laying on her heart as well and so I've been thinking about that and then what he's been laying on my heart and I don't know if they're intertwined or what but I just wanted to share with you what got laid on my heart this evening so as I was pulling weeds, you know, I've pulled just grass weeds, weeds smaller than this. And then I've been pulling weeds that look like this. And it just got me thinking about how our lives are similar to gardens. And you get to decide what you plant in your garden. You know, you can decide anything that you want to plant. And, like, you know, different vegetables could hold, hold the picture of different memories and different life experiences. But, as for weeds, weeds could, weeds could take the picture of emotions and feelings and decisions that you make. And, I mean, you know, different weeds could represent different things. And like this plant, when I pulled it out of the ground, I mean, you can see, you can see the thorns on it. I mean, and the root, the root is just so long. And I mean, like if you, this plant represented hatefulness and bitterness and just, I mean, all the negative things that this could represent. And it was planted in my garden. And I mean, this one could represent so many other different things. But like this beautiful nasturtium could represent love and joy and happiness and all those other positive things. And it just kind of got me thinking of what we plant in our gardens of life and what things you allow to grow in your life and what you allow. You know, seeds come and go from the wind and you know, or like I mulched with straw and so like I got grass seeds from my straw. I mean, so it's also the things that you, that tumble into your life or that other people bring into your life. And, you know, if you allow it to take root, if you allow it to be in your garden. And so it's just something that, um, I've been thinking about this evening and I just wanted to share it with you and just make a little reminder of, um, what are you growing in your garden? Is it a garden that you, you know, enjoy being in? Is it a garden that you don't enjoy being in? And what would it take for you to enjoy living in your garden? To enjoy living in your space? And when I say your garden, I'm referring to, you know, like I said earlier, your life. Your life is your garden. And so, what are you going to plant in it? What are you going to grow? What are you going to reap? So, just wanted to share that thought with you. You decide what you get to grow in your garden. Thank you for watching. Take care. And God bless.